I'm walking into Kayla, this guy's just always standing around shooting the breeze. I wonder why we can't make any money around this place. My goodness, my goodness gracious. Time to do some real man work. All right, so we're doing some cleaning up on the uh, Kalos training room. We got this weird issue, and I'm, this is kind of a boring video, but I wanna just describe it, what's going on. We got our training room unit here, and I was doing some training with some folks. I abused my training room equipment, let's just be frank about that. But we were fast cycling the orange circuit. So in a heat pump, the orange circuit is the uh, reversing valve circuit. This is a heat pump. And I was kind of fast cycling it, showing shifting between heat and cool, so that I was you know, demonstrating the temperature change and the formerly artist formerly known as the suction line, which then becomes the vapor or discharge line in heat mode. But then once I got it all back up and running, it's running and cool like it is right now. It's, it's, it's running okay and cool. It's a little too cold outside, as you can see. It's 51 degrees outside, so we shouldn't really be running it in cool but the temperature in the thermostat just kept rising. At first I didn't think anything of it, but it just kept going up. It got into the 80s and uh, just kept getting worse. So what I did is I disconnected the circuits one by one, sort of a yellow and went through and then just kept reconnecting the thermostat and it would just stay high until I disconnected orange. As soon as I disconnected the orange circuit, the O circuit from this thermostat, then I put it back together and of course it would run in heat, but it, the temperature would go way down. I can actually feel heat kind of radiating off of this thermostat. It's a core thermostat. It's radiating off of it more than it normally would. And so I disconnected this OB from it and ran it and then the temperature went down. And then I left it disconnected and I just bugged red to orange on the outside, checked the amperage on the O circuit alone and it was it was very low. It wasn't, it was like, you know, 0.1 amp, something like that. And then the temperature of the thermostat dropped again. So in the process of fast cycling this thermostat, you know, disconnecting and connecting orange, I mean, you do get a little spike of amperage because a reversing valve solenoid is an inductive load, it's a magnetic load, and so you get a little amperage spike. I somehow damaged the O circuit, this O slash B circuit in this thermostat. I mean, this, this is my working hypothesis until we replace the thermostat. I'm not going to know 100%, but um, that's my working hypothesis is that I damaged the circuit in here to the extent that for some reason within the thermostat, that circuit is now generating additional heat, which the thermostat's picking up. So it's acting like additional resistance or however you want to say that, that is uh, causing additional heat in the thermostat that's driving the temperature up. So we're going to replace this thermostat I hope we have another core laying around here somewhere. We're gonna replace it and see if the problem goes away, I should say. Okay, so new core thermostat installed, and it is definitely not reading too high. If anything, our uh, humidity sensor hasn't acclimated yet because it's definitely reading on the uh, high side of what it really is here. But you can see we're actually reading two degrees below the uh, indoor thermostat, so I think that's all there is to say about that. The issue was due to the rapid cycling of the orange circuit that caused damage to the circuitry which caused it to overheat internally which point of this video is that a lot of times what the thermostat displays isn't just impacted by the temperature of the wall temperature coming you know the um, convective gains coming in through the wall if there's a hole so that's something to look for the temperature of the wall itself and then also the radiant that it's exposed to so if there's if there were sunlight or if this, if this thermostat was exposed to some hot surface like a hot wall on the exterior but in this case it was generating its heat internally and that was the problem so whenever you run into this where you suspect it could be generating heat internally the first thing would be to check the amperage on all the low voltage circuits maybe disconnect them one at a time and figure out which one's causing it and then ultimately in this case it just ended up being the thermostat itself all right i'm brian with hvac school thanks for watching